Let's learn about Easter week. Sunday. Today's verse is Zechariah 9.9b. Your king has won a victory, and he is coming to you. He is humble and rides on a donkey. He comes on the colt of a donkey. So Jesus and his disciples, plus lots of other people from all over Israel, headed to Jerusalem to celebrate Passover. Many of them had heard about Jesus, and when he entered Jerusalem, a huge crowd came out, laying down their coats and palm branches, shouting, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord! Blessed is the coming kingdom of our father David! That's like what we do in church right before Easter. It is, Ian. We remember that event every year on Palm Sunday. It sounds like the crowd knows Jesus is the Messiah, but it also sounds like they think he's going to be a king just like King David. I'm not sure they understand about this new kind of kingdom. No, they don't. Of course, this kind of scene is really going to attract the attention of the Romans. So the Pharisees and the Sadducees know they have to do something about Jesus and quick. Monday. Today's verse is 2 Samuel 7:13. He shall build a house for my name, and I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. Tell him about the promise. What promise? You mean the one about the land and the nation and the blessing for the world? The one God gave Abraham? Oh no, it's a new promise for David. That's right, Brother Louie. God is so pleased with David that in chapter 7 of 2 Samuel, he makes David an amazing promise. God tells David that someone from his family, one of his descendants, will rule over God's people forever. Whoa, that's a big promise. It sure is. This promise is called the Davidic Covenant. Davidic? What kind of word is Davidic? The word Davidic means about David, or having to do with David. Oh, so if something was about Ian, it would be Ianic. Well... And if it was about Clive, it would be Cloivic. <laughs> Cloivic, that's funny. Hilarious. This promise for David, or Davidic covenant, is so important that in the New Testament, when Matthew talks about God's rescue plan, he puts King David right in the middle. Let's review today's verse. Zechariah 9, 9b. Your king has won a victory, and he is coming to you. He is humble and rides on a donkey. He comes on a colt of a donkey. 2 Samuel 7, 13. He shall build a house for my name, and I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. Let's talk. What did we learn? Why did the people shout Hosanna and lay down palm branches for Jesus? What do you think it would have been like to see Jesus arrive into Jerusalem? What was the amazing promise we learned that God made to David? Do you know the name of that special promise? Let's pray together. Let's thank God for bringing Jesus and his kingdom to us. What else can we thank God for today? What are some promises to God we can make as a family? Let's thank God for his promises to us.